Welcome to my channel, Woke Words. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And I went ahead and pulled an oracle card to get an overall idea of what kind of message Spirit may be trying to tell you. And you got the number 12 and it says boundaries. She got like a little bubble around her. And then to clarify the boundaries card, I pulled a tarot card. And you got justice. So this could be saying that you're going through a period of time of trying to set boundaries, like against people who you need to learn to set boundaries with. And Spirit is saying if you learn to set boundaries correctly to like appropriately care for yourself and set those boundaries, it'll create like a sense of balance in your life. That's what I feel like that overall message is. But we're going to pull a nine card block and it's going to be between you and someone you're dealing with. I'm going to read the left side. That's too many. I was going to take them because they flipped, but that was too many. I'm going to read the left side as the person you're dealing with. The right side as you. The center of cards is going to be the energy between the two of you. And then we're going to take another tarot deck and clarify a couple of the cards in the spread for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. I usually wait for one to flip. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So the past is the Nine of Wands, the Eight of Cups, the Chariot card, that's your card. In the current energy, you get the Ten of Swords, the Queen of Wands, the King of Cups. In the upcoming energy, you get the Three of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and the Hangman. So the underlying energy is Three of Pentacles. So you could feel like that you are trying to rebuild your life after something happened because I do see the Ten of Swords in the spread just in general and the Nine of Wands. But after something might have happened, you could be trying to just build your life up from a solid foundation. So for the past energy, the person you're dealing with has the Nine of Wands. You have the Chariot card and the Eight of Cups is between the two of you. This is both people energetically detaching from a situation or attempting to. And with the Chariot card being on your side, that is you getting the hell out of Dodge is the way I feel this energy. And this person feels like y'all have been through so much together. It's almost like, look, you just finally had enough and you just left and this person is looking like, how the hell could you do that? They're feeling wounded warrior. They're feeling sorry for themselves in this energy. Like all the things cancer has done to me. All these ones represents a thing they feel like you have done to them. Okay. And this energetic detachment with the eight of cups being here and the chariot card that's like very, that's a major arcana card of moving forward. Whether you wanted to or not, it might not have felt good, but it's like Spirit is saying if you're not doing that, it looks like that's what that is in the past, that you need to learn to set the boundaries. You see the bubble around her? That's so she can heal. In the current energy, the person you're dealing with has the Ten of Swords. You have the King of Cups, and the Queen of Wands is between the two of you. So, I feel like that's you with the King of Cups card, working on your heart chakra, working on becoming emotionally independent within yourself. Because the King of Cups card, he's got all these waves of emotion around him, but he's solid and firm on his little chair right here. He is chilling. He's got his cup out. He's not worried about nobody shitting in it or spitting in it because he's taking responsibility for who he hands it to. And even though there's a lot of waves and stuff all around him, he's solid. He's firm within himself. So I feel like that's you working on your heart chakra, trying to not allow anything that happened in the past to affect what you got going on now currently, even if it's not a connection. If we allow our heart chakra to become closed from being hurt, then it can affect all areas of our life. But this person in the meantime is in the Ten of Swords. So they feel like you have betrayed them. I'm not saying that's true. I'm just saying what the cards say. They feel like you've betrayed them by leaving them behind with the Ten of Swords. They feel like not only did you put one sword in their back, you put ten swords in their back. And the oven just beeped, so that's confirmation. They definitely feel like you have betrayed them. Whether that's true or not doesn't matter. That's what they feel. 
Okay, so in the upcoming energy there in the Three of Wands, you're in the hangman and the Page of Pentacles is in between the two of you. So with this situation, what's happened between the two of you, this is the universe giving both of you the opportunity to learn some things, to learn from the experience. This person may not see it that way, but they have positive expectations of waiting on you to come back. They're, they're waiting on their ships to come in and their ships is Cancer. So you are the ship in the metaphorical Three of Wands card here. And in the meantime, while they're waiting on you, you see them waiting, you're standing there, or you're not standing there, you're hanging upside down in hangman mode. You're not moving right now in the upcoming energy. You're trying to see things from another perspective. If you're not, that's what Spirit's telling you to do. To try to create boundaries right now to get some balance in your life and learn what you need to learn from this connection. Look at it in a positive standpoint as a Page of Pentacles person would. Someone who would look at this opportunity as a learning experience. And it looks like that's what you're doing if you stay on this timeline. You're going to get in hangman mode, create those boundaries, and see things from another perspective. Meanwhile, this person is going to be waiting on you to come back. Because in this current energy, they feel very betrayed by you. They feel like you've put them through a lot of shit. And they are waiting on you to return. So we're going to clarify. Uh-oh. We're going to clarify some of these cards. So for the past, I want to clarify the Nine of Wands. That's them. Let's see what happened. Eight of Pentacles. The Temperance. The King of Swords. So in the past, they felt like they had a lot of patience with you. They felt like they were working on this and doing what they should. They felt like they had their king of swords mode. They felt like they were doing the right thing. But they could have been a lot like really emotionally detached. And that could have been what triggered you to become emotionally detached. Or energetically detached like the eight of cups is energetic detachment so they could have been it could be an air sign could be a Libra Gemini or Aquarius and that could be why you and them didn't speak the same love language because this person is in the past were in like was in like King of Swords mode they're in that energy of being making decisions based on logic only and whenever we're balanced, we make decisions on logic and emotion, and we kind of have to walk the fine line and the tightrope and the slippery slope. Might as well rhyme, rhyme if I'm going to be corny, right? But they felt like they were working on this and doing the right thing, showing you patience, and that they were doing the best for the connection by making decisions on logic only. But it could have been, the reason why they done that is because it could have been they were scared of the emotional side of it. And if you're a Cancer, then you were more on your emotional side. They could have been more on the logic side of the situation. So I want to clarify the Ten of Swords. That's the energy they're currently in. Feeling like they're betrayed by you. They feel like you left them. The High Priestess. The King of Cups. The Moon. Now let me tell you something funny. In the current line, you get the King of Cups. And one of their clarifying cards is the King of Cups. So y'all are mirroring each other, of course. They feel betrayed by you. They're not telling you this with the high priestess being there. But their intuition is telling them that you still love them. They, they kind of feel like the, the end result of this is unclear with the moon card being there. They're not sure what's going to come of it. But as time moves on, since they still have a lot of passion for it with the Queen of Wands being there, they're, they're, they're developing a positive expectation that you're going to come back. That's, that's what they think. So let's clarify what the Three of Wands is. Are they just going to wait on you to come back? Or are they going to do something about it? Let's see if we get a communication card of some kind, maybe. But they feel betrayed by you, but at the same time, their intuition is telling them you still care about them. Or it's what they perceive in their intuition to tell them. Also, 
know that this ending, if it was intense, it is causing you to go through a lot of growth and expansion and evolution with the moon card being there. So let's clarify this three of wands. This fell out. The knight of swords, the queen of wands again, and the seven of pentacles. So see, they're waiting. And the ace of pentacles is at the bottom. They want a solid new ground at the beginning. And they're waiting on that with the seven of pentacles. They're waiting, but they definitely may communicate. If their passion gets the best of them, the three of wands they're waiting, the seven of pentacles they're waiting. But if their passion gets the best of them and they can't take it anymore, it's like they're going to come in suddenly and communicate to you. You're probably going to shock the shit out of you when they do. Because they've been in this quiet waiting. The high priestess card is what they're currently in. They're in that current quiet secretive, not saying anything to you, not speaking to you. You have maybe not heard from them, but they're waiting. They're trying to wait and be patient. This is a card of waiting. But if their passion gets the best of them, they're going to come in suddenly and speak to you. So let's get three cards from the universe based on the vibration you could be giving off at this time slash advice you may need regarding this connection or just regarding anything in general, whatever wants to come through. Three cards for Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. The Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands. So this feels like, I mean, even though they're waiting and they think you're going to come back, this feels like the end of a Two ten cards being here. It feels like this connection is very burdensome. It feels like maybe even though they feel like you betrayed them, you could feel the very same thing. And with five pinnacles being here and a ten of pinnacles situation, when you split that up, that's a five of pinnacles card. Okay? So it feels like either this was a marriage or a long-standing commitment. And just as I say marriage, my eyes go to the justice card. So it definitely could be like a divorce situation or a separation after a long-standing commitment with someone that you live with or just had a long relationship with. But with the Ten of Wands being there and the Ten of Swords, it's like you're in that very last push before a new cycle can come in. And how does a new cycle come in? Spirit is saying by creating balance when you set boundaries. Allow people to know you got them boundaries set. Look out for yourself. Here's another card of balance underneath the bottom, Six of Pentacles. That's the minor card to justice so i feel like this is definitely you're going through some like the tough pains the labor pains at the end of a tough cycle and just know that this is all part of the process trust the process because when you come out the other side you're going to become stronger and you're going to learn how to set those boundaries that create balance within yourself so that you don't need anyone else in your life and you'll have it all on your own you'll have balance within yourself so that's been your reading, Cancer, and thank you so much for watching.